I wish I took investing more serious at the start of my journey, bro. Now, what I realized with a lot of the options traders in the stock market, um, I started off with Forex. I did a course. That course was ass, and I went to Ninja Trader. But one thing I realized about the people who who do options, bro, is they them niggas started off you have to learn before you do options bro you literally have to learn about the market like you have to learn about you have to learn about the stock market if you want to do options because you just can't hop straight into options like you can't trade and like trading knowing how to enter and put a stop loss and do this is way easier than options like you got to know the call to push what time to expire bro so you got to how much the contracts are worth like, when you want to get started with trading, especially futures, it's not that hard. Like, bro, all right, you want to risk a certain amount. Bro, one contract on the NASDAQ is $5. You want to risk, you want your stop loss to be at 25 All right, five times 25 that's how much you're losing. That's easy. Now, you know what I'm saying? The technicals is a completely different story, but you 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 get what I'm saying. But yeah, like I wish I, I just wish I took it serious because say like while you on the road, you're on the road to trying to become a profitable trader, you will be compounding your investing account. Like you will know you will know the shit about investing. So while you throwing bread in there trying to trade and shit, you can still have an account an account, an investing account compounding for you because you put it in quality companies. Now that's the main thing. Like I was like, damn, like I wish I could have did that because I was blowing a lot of bread. Like if I was still investing back then, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have blown bread like that. But you just gotta have a long term mindset. If I'm like, damn, I did it back then. Like you're just putting the shit in the Nasdaq, <laughs> literally just putting the shit in the Nasdaq. Literally, you get what I'm saying? That's that's all I've been thinking of, or just having a mindset when everything was dipping low as fuck. Just put some bread in there. Just keep putting small amounts of bread in there. It don't got to be a lot. You can fractional share. You know what I'm saying? You can just fractional share and shit like that. But that's really what I just realized, man. Like, I wish I would have just did that. I wish I would have kind of started off on investing like what a lot of stock niggas do. But, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't really stop that. So, that's my only thing about it. I just wish I had, I started earlier. But, I mean, I'm 23 right now, so I'm still pretty young. So, I'm just, like, when I get to 30, bro, I want to have a decent amount invested. Like, my investment account, I really don't want to touch like that. I'm just putting bread in there. Unless it's just some shit game crazy, man, then that's different. I'm really looking into, like, the bigger good companies. Like, so I might invest some in QQQ. Um, I got some in Microsoft. Um, my mom, like, one of my mom's jobs, I remember, like, I was looking at my jobs, too, and shit, or the jobs that was still operating through COVID, those are the kind of jobs I was kind of looking at, because I was like, man, like, looking at their earnings, looking at their revenue and shit, they working capital, like, dang, they was really eating through the COVID period of time, so they really kind of, like, if the worst shit happened, bro, you know this company's gonna be good, you know what I'm saying, Microsoft, Big Dog, you got Google, Amazon, I was trying to scout Tesla a little bit. Not really scout, but trying to get in the entry. But basically, like, you can really just eat off just pure fundamentals. But what I've been trying to do is um, I'm going to have to make a Fidelity account so I can get fractional shares. But I've been trying to practice on my swing, on kind of like my swing trading with the fundamentals. So if it's a quality company, I'm looking for a dip to buy it. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to just cost dollar average in companies because I'm not going to get the most of my return back. But if I can look at the spreadsheet or the balance sheet and literally be like, okay, I did all my calculations. This is a good company. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, we look at Microsoft or Google, and then I might have some small caps or some. You know what I'm saying? Getting at the best entry, and even if it just blow past where I thought, I'm still going to find another dip to buy at because I'm still buying and holding. You get what I'm saying? So I just, I feel like I wish I could have just did that towards the beginning. But, you know, shit, 